During World War II, the United States developed the M-29 Weasel tracked amphibious transport vehicle. This vehicle was originally designed for the Nordic environment and, compared to the Kadanloid ultralight armored vehicle, the M-29 had better off-road capabilities and was more suitable for water and marshy terrains. After World War II, the concept of tracked amphibious transport vehicles continued, and in the 1950s, the United States introduced the M-76 Otter tracked amphibious transport vehicle. The M-76 was designed and built by the Pontiac Motor Division located in Michigan, and it was not a direct technological successor to the M-29, but rather a newly designed vehicle incorporating new technologies. The vehicle featured an engine compartment at the front, housing a Continental AIO-268 air-cooled 130-horsepower four-cylinder opposed aircraft engine. The exhaust pipe of the engine extended through a bend pipe to the rear top of the driver's compartment. The tracked propulsion system of the vehicle was distinctive, with four pairs of road wheels, no track support wheels, an idler wheel at the front, and a track tensioning wheel at the rear. The road wheels used torsion bar suspension and an inflatable design, providing additional buoyancy when traveling on water and a smoother, quieter interaction with the rubber tracks. The tracks were equipped with metal anti-skid studs and reinforced rubber plates to increase traction. The M76 had amphibious driving capability, with a propeller at the rear for water propulsion, which could be folded after landing. Steering on water was achieved by the driver adjusting the tracks, and the stopped or slow movement of the tracks produced greater resistance, causing the vehicle to pivot towards that side. This structure indicated that the water mobility of the M76 was not particularly strong. The crew compartment could accommodate two people side by side, with the driver on the left. Both occupants had access hatches above, and there were also entry doors on both sides of the driver's compartment. A weapon mount was installed on the exterior of the compartment's roof on the right side, capable of mounting an M2HB heavy machine gun. Behind the driver's compartment was the cargo compartment, capable of transporting eight fully armed soldiers or 3,000 pounds of properly sized cargo. The cargo compartment had an enclosed structure, with large doors at the top and rear for access. On each side of the cargo compartment were external fuel tanks and various tools. The M76 was more of a multi-purpose vehicle, capable of serving as a rescue vehicle as well. It was equipped with a 5,000-pound winch for rescuing stranded vehicles in marshy and complex terrains. The M76 was not an armored combat vehicle and had no armor protection. Instead, it extensively used aluminum structures, a distinctive feature of American military vehicles at the time. The benefits of this design were lighter vehicles, but the downside was a lower resistance to impact. In the 1960s, the U.S. military extensively used the M-76 in the Vietnam War, where its amphibious capabilities were well suited to the water-rich environment. However, soldiers criticized its lack of protection. In the mid to late 1960s, another amphibious transport vehicle, the M-116, began to take shape. Although the M-116 prototype also lacked armor protection, its variant, the M-733, was equipped with steel armor capable of resisting 7.62 mm ammunition. However, the M116 and M733 were produced in small quantities, and the more expensive M113 armored personnel carrier outperformed them in many aspects, eventually replacing the tracked amphibious transport vehicles. After the Vietnam War, the M76, M116, and M733 reached the end of their service, and their presence became increasingly rare. The M76 amphibious transport vehicle weighed 1.5 tons, was 4.9 meters long, 2.5 meters wide, and 2.31 meters high, with a crew of two and capacity for eight passengers. Its maximum road speed was approximately 50 kilometers per hour, and its maximum water speed ranged from 7 to 10 kilometers per hour.